Mammography is one of the best screening tools to find breast cancer. Breast cancer may not be preventable, but you can survive it through early detection. If you're a mother or grandmother, sister or best friend, aunt or cousin, we encourage you to know your risk, make healthy lifestyle choices, and to know what's normal for your body. Get screened, get your mammogram annually. We, we did! did. Child pornography reportedly on the rise. A Chinese corporation buys a British colonial Hilton. The foreign affairs minister defends the handling of threats by a shantytown resident. Plus, Dwayne Sands responds to unfortunate comments by Michael Pintard. We've got those stories and a whole lot more tonight. I'm Vonnie Tudend and V12 starts now. News tonight, authorities are raising the alarm on child pornography in the Bahamas. They say the Royal Bahamas Police Force has seen an increase in the number of complaints about children as young as eight years old being exploited by pedophiles. Chasmer Brown reports. There are few crimes that are met with such horrified reactions from the public and police than child pornography. But despite that fact, police say it's still an issue in the Bahamas. Inspector Mark Barrett of the High Tech Crimes Unit says the Internet and social media and smart technology have all made it easier than ever before for people to access and share child pornography. It's a disturbing trend, according to Barrett. Number of trends that are now coming to light uh, in terms of social media. We have individuals out there who are now posting pornography, in particular child pornography, uh, online. According to Barrett, by law, child porn is inappropriate images of people under the age of 18. The majority of cases reported to police involve teens who Barrett says are preyed upon by suspects, allegedly pretending to be photographers and talent agents looking for the next big child star. But Barrett says there are shocking cases involving victims as young as 8 years old. We are seeing a number of these issues uh, online. Uh, where people are exploiting uh, these young people, in regardless of the age, uh, it's still an offense uh, in the Bahamas. And so we have instances where we have boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wives, uh, for whatever reason, they decide to sever ties, and then the disgruntled party then posts photos or images off the other party online. Along with an increase in this illegal activity, there has also been an increase in the resources dedicated to law enforcement efforts that specialize in detecting and prosecuting offenders. And what we want members of the public to know is that it is an offense. Underneath the Sexual and Offenses Domestic Violence Act, the amended act, and they can and will be prosecuted for that. Reporting for NB12, I'm Jasmine Brown. Following nearly two years of negotiations, China State Construction Engineering Corporation has purchased the British Colonial Hilton. The corporation reportedly beat out more than a dozen serious contenders. While the hotel's ownership will change, we understand it will continue to be managed by the Hilton. A contract signing was held this evening at that hotel. We understand that the six acres of undeveloped land next to the Hilton was a major part of the attraction for the new owners, and it will be developed extensively in the near future. We'll have the details of this evening's signing in tomorrow's newscast. Free National Movement Deputy Chairman Dr. Dwayne Sands has pledged to lead a clean and honorable campaign in his bid for deputy leader, despite what he called unfortunate comments made by FNM Senator Michael Pintard yesterday. Pintard told NB12 that he may decide to run for FNM deputy leader as the current contenders do not exhibit certain qualities. Pintard also suggested that certain people running for top positions in the party are more focused on their own political ambitions, adding that he doesn't believe anyone who holds a position in the FNM but does nothing should seek elevation. 
Well, Sands said in a statement last night, while Pintard's comments are unfortunate, they are not representative of the core ideas and issues that are of critical concern to FNM delegates and supporters. Sands told NB12 he will remain focused and steadfast in his efforts to build the FNM and would speak privately with Pintard to avoid distracting from the party's primary focus. In other news, former Progressive Liberal Party MP Philip Galanis is urging both Prime Minister Perry Christie and Bamboo Town MP Renward Wells to urgently address the letter of intent controversy to remove any doubt of misconduct. Wells told the NASA Guardian that he did not benefit financially from signing the LOI with Stellar Waste to Energy. However, he did not explain the circumstances surrounding the signing, which cost him his job as Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Works. Neither has Christie. Galana says Bahamians deserve a clear explanation on what transpired. I think that when you're in public office, you have a degree of accountability that you are responsible to the people for. And, that the, and I think that in the fullness of time, these things ought to be fully explained to the, person, to, to the, to the public. There ought to be a level of accountability, transparency and openness in, if our system is to work. And so I think uh, in order to remove any doubt about potential uh, misconduct or uh, in, in inappropriate behavior on the part of Mr. Wells. I think that what needs to be done ultimately is for there to be a clear, definitive explanation of what, what transpired. Mm -hmm. Christie has said he will address the matter. Meantime, Wells told the NASA Guardian all will be revealed in time. However, Galanis says this issue has lingered for too long. It does produce a cloud over the entire episode to the extent that it hasn't been, you know, the, the sunshine has not been allowed to come in. Um, but as I said, I believe that in, you know, in, in the very not, in the, in the not too distant future, that is going to be resolved. And I, I think it'll then be behind us and people will then make a determination as to, uh, well, what was all the hullabaloo about? <laughs> Meteorologists are warning residents to take the necessary precautions this weekend as heavy rainfall could lead to flooding in low-lying areas. Simone Davis reports. Neely warns residents and small aircraft operators to take necessary precautions during severe weather in the northwest and central Bahamas. He says the combination of a broad low-pressure system over West Cuba and a stationary front over the northwest Bahamas will continue to produce unsettled weather. Most of the showers are going to be tonight and this afternoon. And in terms of weather-wise, what we have is a stationary front over over the Northwest Bahamas, and that's in combination with a low pressure system over Cuba. The low pressure system is going to move through the Northwest Bahamas, mainly over the islands of Andres, uh, New Providence, and North Elutra. And it's going to move over, the, and what's going to happen is the winds are going to be very strong in the low pressure system. Uh, we're going for winds up to 25 to 35 knots with occasional high gusts to tropical storm force winds. He advised small craft operators to remain in port until Saturday morning. Neely says residents should prepare for cloudy to overcast skies and very windy conditions with widely scattered showers and thunderstorms tonight, which will become heavy at times. He warns residents to prepare for potential flooding. In most of the northwest and central Bahamas, they are experiencing 25 to 35 knots. Uh, those in New Providence, North Elutra, and Andres, you're going to get up to 35 knots winds, which is significantly st strong for small craft. So because of that, we definitely advise you, if you're a small craft operator, to remain in port until those winds of seas come down. The winds, the seas are going to be extremely rough. The seas are going to be 8 to 12 feet, which is significantly significantly very rough condition. Neely says the low pressure system should leave the Bahamas by Saturday morning, so we should be expecting improving conditions and subsiding winds by Saturday afternoon. Right now we advise residents to take necessary precautions for flood prone conditions. You're going to have off and on showers for most of the night and early tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow morning, by to mid, by around 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock tomorrow, it should be starting to get cleared up, should be out of date. Low pressure should move out of the area and things should return to normal. So Sunday looks pretty good weather-wise and Saturday afternoon, if you're having functions on Saturday afternoon, you definitely demolish show and basically almost clear skies. 
So it should be okay there. A quick look at the weekend weather forecast. Tonight we have a high of 81 and a low of 76 with heavy thunderstorms and 100% chance of rain. Saturday will clear up with a high of 81 and a low of 75 with a 40% chance of rain. And Sunday will be a high of 82 and a low of 75 with no chance of rain during the day but a 20% chance of rain at night. Neely noted that tropical weather is not on the radar for the Bahamas anytime soon. Reporting for MB12, I'm Simone Davis.